enough is enough, and it's time for a change. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. What is up San Antonio Spurs fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. Some comments I've seen lately on videos and in the live streams is why isn't Dominic Barlow get some minutes instead of Zach Collins, but also a few people, myself included, and say, hey, I wonder what it would be like if Blake Wesley was in the starting lineup. So, Spurs fans, that's why we're doing a video. Drop a comment down below. Would you like to see Blake start over Trey Jones? Do you think he's ready or not ready? And also, how about Dominic Barlow coming off the bench first as our big man instead of Zach Collins? Let me know. Hit the thumbs up if you like support the channel and subscribe to be part of our wonderful sports community. Let's talk about Trey Jones first. Let's bring up his stats. And he's been... Well, fairly consistent over the last few years. His field goal percentage is de uh, actually just under 50%, which is terrific. Shooting a phenomenal 59% from two-point land. He's a very good free throw shooter. Has a great assist to turnover ratio. Rarely turns the ball over. Plays solid defense. And I do think Trey Jones is a good floor general. However, he is a terrible three-point shooter. Look at the last two years. He's right around 28% and 27% from his career. Defenses are going to leave him open and double team whoever has the ball. Probably going to be Wemby in most instances when he's out there missing threes. And he was chucking threes last night and missed, I think it was 0 for 4. And I like Trey, but one thing I don't want to see Trey Jones do is launch a bunch of threes. And I understand you need to keep the defense honest. And he's only going to get better by practicing. But practice outside the game. Don't practice your three-point shooting during the game. Trey Jones, I like him. He's done an admirable job for us. But what about Blake? Why would we start Blake over Trey if Trey has been doing a decent job? What is Blake bringing to the table that Trey doesn't? Well, first off, he is taller. I believe Blake is 6'3", Trey is 6'1", so it gives him more couple inches height. He's got great length. He is fast, F-A-S-T, in transition and on the court. I do think at this point, Blake may be a better defender than Trey Jones. And he's only in his second year. Blake is 20. Trey is 24, so he's got some youth. Yes, he's not a good three-point shooter, and he's actually not a good free-throw shooter right now, so Blake really needs to work on that, and he can play too fast, but I do like a lot of things I'm seeing with him. He can finish above the rim, something that I've seen Trey Jones do maybe once in his career, maybe twice, whereas Blake has shown us the ability to get to the rim and throw it down. I kind of have a feeling what Trey Jones' ceiling is for his fans. I feel like it's a backup point guard. If he can get his three-point shooting up to a respectable 35 to 36%, where defenses are going to have to at least respect his three-point shot. And remember, John T. Murray was not a very good three-point shooter when he started. I'm sorry, I mentioned a former spur. Tony Park was not a good three-point shooter. We've seen our point guards in the past get better with the three-point shot. Heck, Trey's brother, Tyus Jones, wasn't he not a very good three-point shooter when he started? Now he's a decent three-point shooter. So it's not like Trey can't get better. But as long as he stays at a sub-30%, his ceiling is going to be backup point guard. As far as Blake Wesley, from what we saw last year to the start of this year to where he is right now, I don't know where his ceiling is, but his ceiling is getting higher and higher with every bit of growth that we see with him on the court. So I'm excited. Would I make the switch now, Spurs fans? Probably not, since Trey has more experience. However, I would not be opposed to Pop saying, you know what? After the all-star break, this is an experimental year, ain't it? Let's try Blake Wesley as our starting point guard for, I don't know, let's do it for 10 games. What the heck? If we can have Soan out there at point guard, which is, and Brandon out there, then let's try Blake Wesley. On to the other gentleman right above my head, Zach Collins. Zach, Zach, Zach. In his seventh year in the league, he's 26. Really thought we had something special with Zach last year. He played very well. Shot 52% from the field, was playing the stretch five that we, you know, we thought we needed. Shooting 37% from beyond the arc really looked good. And when we signed him for two years, $35 million, I thought, man, you know what? He keeps performing like he did last year and keeps growing. This is going to be a good investment. Well, I'll tell you this, Spurs fans. I haven't seen a lot of Dominic Barlow, but I think I've seen enough of Zach this year. And right now, I don't like it. He is chucking threes left and right and hitting at a terrible rate of 20, just under 27%. He has not made a three-pointer this month. He's missed every three-pointer that he's taken this month. I think he's taken maybe 14 or 15. Oh, for everything. And he's still launching him. He's not a great defender. He's not a great rebounder. In just around this, actually, a little bit more minutes per game this year over last year, he's averaging only five and a half rebounds per game. Yes, he's a decent passer, but we need a rebounding. We need defense. And you look at our second unit. My goodness, Kelvin Johnson, Zach Collins, 
Malachi Branham, that's like the all no defense league right there. That's just not helping us win games at all. I like Zach. I really do. I like all the players on our team, but I'm really starting to feel like we overpaid with that two-year extension for $35 million. And much like Blake, I don't know Dominic Barlow's seeing. We haven't seen a ton of him. But what, what the heck? Why not? He's shown, and he's shown, much like Blake, improvement from last year to this year, throughout the season, adding moves to his repertoire. Yeah, he's young. I think he's 20 as well. He's very green. But again, if we're experimenting and what we're doing ain't working, i.e. Zach Collins off the bench, every time Zach comes in the first quarter, I swear, whatever lead we had, it's gone. Why not try Dominic Barlow off the bench more? What do we got to lose? <laughs> Just more games? We already lost plenty of those. That being said, Spurs fans, uh, I hope both Trey Jones and Zach Collins prove me wrong. I hope Trey, after the All-Star break, starts nailing those threes and showing us, yes, I am an NBA-level starter. I am the starter for the San Antonio Spurs. I hope Zach Collins plays much better after the All-Star break and says, hey, I may be a backup, but I'm a darn good backup to Wemby. So that's all I got, Spurs fans. Thank you all for tuning in. And I'll try to keep the videos coming here through this All-Star break about maybe different things the Spurs can do with the team to maybe get get a few wins here and there maybe maybe just maybe get to 21 wins so this isn't the spur the worst spurs team of all time thank you and as always go spurs go and when I feel like this, I'm a